This video shows how we can use numeracy skills to divide up our days at home into blocks of time and to record how much time we spend doing different activities in our day. The video focuses on developing addition and subtraction skills when adding and subtracting hours and minutes in time. I guess breakfast time or dinner time or lunch time or bed time or homework time or movie time. How many minutes are in an hour? Sixty. And how many hours are in a day? Twenty-four. And how many seconds are in a minute? Sixty. And if you had a quarter of an hour, how many minutes would you have? Fifteen. And if you had a half an hour, how many minutes would you have? Thirty. And if you were to add up a quarter of an hour and a half an hour, how many minutes would you have then? Forty-five. And is there another time in the day that you like? Movie time. Okay, what movies do you like? Marvel movies. And how long do Marvel movies take? Up to three hours. So Sixty minutes in an hour. How many minutes is in a three-hour Marvel movie? One hundred and eighty minutes. That's a long time to watch a movie. It might be nearly, it's the end of the a very, very first character. Okay. So it has to be long. Okay. So can you think about two times in the day that are, where it takes you a small amount of time to do something? Washing my hands. Okay. And how long does that take? Well, if I could choose, it would probably only take like 10 seconds, but it has to be like 20 seconds for it in your hands. Okay. Talking to your child about the activities they do during the day helps them to structure their day and think about how they are spending their time. Help them to record the time they spend on different activities and make a list of activities and times. So we're going to think about subtracting time. All right. Okay. So let's have a look at this. OK. And in the example, we have seven hours and 19 minutes and we want to take away two hours and 28 minutes from that. But the rule is we need to take one hour and bring it across to the minutes. Why would we do that? How many minutes are in an hour? 60. OK, so. We're going to take 60 minutes from this here and we're going to bring it across there. And then that gives us 6 hours Seven, and 79 20. minutes, doesn't it? Yes. Where did I get the 79 from? The 7th hour in the hours and you brought it over to the minutes which created 79. Good, okay. And then this stays the same, doesn't it? Because this is what we're going to take away. Yes. All right? So. Can we have a go at doing that then? You're going to use your pen to do it. All right, so let's start on the hours side. So now we have six hours minus two hours. So do you want to write down what Where we might get I for that? the answer? In here. Very good. Okay, and we've brought over our 60, so that has become 79. So now we want to take 28 from 79. So do you want to try and do that? Well, how would we come up one? Mm -hmm. And that would, that would be um, a five. Very good. So, do you want to read out your answer now? Four hours, 51 minutes. Very good. What's the rule when we're adding in time? You have, must keep the hours and the minutes in separate areas. Okay, so you keep them together, don't you? Until the end. You keep your hours together and your minutes together until the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the next sum, Liam, okay, tell me the time. So you have to add two times together. So what's the first one? One hour, 57 minutes. And what's the second one? Six hours, 22 minutes. Okay, so let's add them up. Six plus one, what does that give us here? Seven. Okay. Okay, so let's we have to add here on this side now. So 57 and 22. So let's add that up. What does that give us? 2 plus 7 is? 
nine. Very good. And two, five plus two is seven. Okay, but how many hours are in, how many minutes are in an hour? 60, so that will become 19, and this will become eight hours. Okay, how does that become eight hours? What did you do with the seven? I added the hour with that I took from the minute side and put it on the hour side because it's added up to an hour and they are meant to be kept separate. Okay, very so good. So I separated them and I put them together. At the end. And okay. in, the, in the right places. Okay. Four hours, 59 minutes, plus two hours, 13 minutes. Okay, so let's add, start here on the hours. So okay. two plus four? Six, okay. equals six. And now this slide. Yeah. Nine plus three equals a 12. Mm -hmm. So you'd need to carry the one mm -hmm. and put down it. Oh, and that would, two, yeah. and okay. then it would go on to that side, okay. and 5 plus 2 is 7, but since it's, but since that's over the allowed amount. What's the allowed it, amount? The highest you, it can go in the minutes is 59. And is, the high, is it not 60? If it was 60, then all of then all of it would be brought over. 59 is the highest it can be before it's at least some of the minutes have to be brought over. Okay, understand. Right, so what does it become then? 72 becomes? 12. Okay, and what does 6 become? 7. How does it become 7? Because I had to take 60 minutes from the minute side, because that is a, it is an hour. Okay. And so they I had to put the hour where it belonged on the hour side. Okay.